Okay, so I am already digging deep into the kitchen with the stuff I have because I think the ginger isn't as fresh. So I already peeled and did all my ginger stuff um, and my lemon and I blended it. So this is just straight ginger, lemon, and some water. This is just straight strawberries, no water or anything. I just pureed it. Pureed it. It's for um, some chia pudding stuff I'm gonna make in a little bit. But if you don't have a zester, take a peeler, if you have a peeler, right? And just peel your lemons. You get these beautiful, perfect oil infused, super strong lemon, great smells. And then I just take these, line them up, and give them a little line through. Nice and fine, look at that, beautiful. And then you can add them into your cube trays or literally just in anything or on anything, honestly. I'm gonna make a couple of different cubes for me. And I really think this whole block of ginger, two lemons, is gonna last me probably the whole stay here. So we'll see, I'm gonna use this for like ice waters, warm waters, for teas, mocktails, all the above. So I don't have coconut water, so this is just gonna be regular filtered water. Um, and yeah, and I have some the leftover pills, the rinds, and some big chunks of ginger just in case I want to do something with that. So this is just a puree. I think I might need that actually because I don't think there's another strainer. But I also don't really mind to strain it as much. So let's see. There's a cold press base somewhere. Here's the top. I wish it was dirty. That would have worked as good as a strainer. Hmm. Do you need this? So, we're just putting our scraps in here. We're going to give her a rinse. I'm just gonna pour her in. I might not care and just put the whole thing in because I kind of want it. I don't really need it. I don't really need it for shots. I'm making ice cubes and this is just straight, um, pretty strong already. So honestly, I might just add the pulp in because it's just gonna go into my drinks anyway. I don't really wanna lose anything. We're probably gonna do a double blend with some water in it. So we can collect it. That should be good. Let's try it. She's strong. Perfect. All right, I'm going to add some of this actually right to the lemon rind. Because I love lemon. Honestly, not going to fill it. Oh, I just filled those ones up. So I should probably be careful. I'm trying to go halfway. And then I might do some without it. Perfect. 
perfect because I'm definitely going to make some more. I was thinking about putting water in it, but I already put water in this, so honestly, make these ones stronger, right? And then we will add her back in, add a little bit more water and get her another blend. Plus, we still have, have more ginger so we can add more of that and just squeeze the extra peel juice stuff in here too. But she's actually pretty lemony. Well, that batch was because I put that whole lemon in actually. So I just cut off the rind and then added the whole lemon seeds and all and blended it. Well, I try to get most of the big seeds out, but. I'm probably going to. I don't want to use this whole one. I maybe should have got three lemons so I can have the third one for something else. But. I do love lemon water and lemon infused everything, so this probably, hopefully, will last me longer. But if it doesn't, it's okay too. And then on the side over here, I actually took the strawberry ends and put them in a pot with a little bit of sugar. This time brown sugar to see if that would work. And I also put some lemon peel in there too, a little bit of ginger peel. And I made a little, a little simple syrup or some mocktails or just infused anything. Um, so yeah. yeah, that one had a whole lemon juice, so more liquid came out of that other one, but that's okay. I usually I make like tonic shots, ginger and lemon shots, but I really wanted to do the cubes so that I can put them all in my waters and everything. Um, and then, yeah, so it will last longer too, so I don't have to keep buying more and more, because honestly, this is a great way to save. So let's see how strong this one is too. Pretty gingery, spicy. I just put a couple in these two because we're in it. It's really just gonna go in my water and then everything. A little bit of flavor. Okay. It's really ginger, a bit more ginger here. I might just freeze some of this lemon peel though, honestly. Put some water in it and see if it turns out good or if it turns out bitter, but I did wash them pretty well, so hopefully they would turn out right. I love making cubes. And honestly, why not a couple whole ginger? Because I just have those sitting here. Put some water in here. This is round two of the cube game. I just really wanted to play around with it. So I got some strawberries, ginger, fresh lemon. Different than the other ones I did where I pureed it, right? 
Um, but this is just gonna be great for like some dropping the sparkling water, anything, honestly. I'll show you guys what I do with them and why I'm kind of making them. I don't know if this is gonna work out because I didn't, wasn't smart enough to get prepared ahead of time because I honestly just wanna talk. Um, and I've been thinking about, you know, bigger things and just like really thinking about committing to a podcast lately. But for now, I'm just gonna talk here until I figure those things out. Um, I honestly wanted to like post some stories and everything when I got back in like 20 30 minutes ago but my body is still trembling and i feel depleted um and i just feel like exhausted i feel exhausted but i feel so good about it at the same time so this morning excuse me i'm just trying to drink water at this point um this morning i also was trying to do my hair but now i don't even know what to do <sighs> this morning I wanted to go on a walk and it's been a couple like we go on we've been going on you know walks puppy walks and everything getting some decent steps in which is really nice or like our adventures in Portland were really good we were crushing like you know 15 to 20 thousand steps on some days and so those were great but I wasn't like it wasn't the intent to like be getting a high intense like getting my heart rate up and stuff but I knew like starting those walks would be great again because I've been wanting to get outside. I just wanted to put a foot to ground. And so this morning I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go walk, you know, behind Rashawn, even though it's gonna be like super far. But he said that today was gonna be like his kind of relaxed day because tomorrow, you know, is his mile amper. Um, so he's just gonna like do a fast walk. And that usually like, I don't want to say usually, but before when we started, I just started doing six miles at the vineyard, you know, when we were there, just because it was more of a mental game for me. I was going through a lot, still going through a lot, and so I was using walking and yoga to really get out of my head and to escape. So we started doing six miles back then, and that led to, you know, my first race, like actually running a race, first time in my life. Um, and that was a 10k off bat and that was only like a month of just walking and jogging six miles and we were already doing it and people were just like you're already doing it like the race is literally right here in town and so we we're like yeah we're just gonna do these 10 this 10k and then little behold of course Michigan slash Detroit was having a their marathon half marathon 5k all of the whole thing you know and so we sent it for the 5k um and crushed that like within a couple weeks after it was crazy and it felt so good and then since then you know i had my little head thing um situation and that kind of tipped me like downward like i didn't really work out because i was recovering from that and then ever since then i kind of just felt like i haven't amped it up until this past month, I've been switching every week different workouts, and I'm just like, keep thinking and keep telling, like, talking myself out of running again. Like, it's something I've always wanted to do, and I finally, like, got out of the mindset of telling myself I could never run um, because I freaking did it. You know, I was like jogging really slow, but I was doing it. And so this morning when I got up, I just like crushed this huge hill. It's so intense to get even out of this community. It's great. And I just started jogging after the first mile and didn't stop until fifth mile. Ran four miles straight and it was up and down hills. And I was looking back at my Samsung thing to see because Rashawn was calling out times and stuff. And I was like, that's so slow. And then realizing I'm forever talking myself down and the point is, is that it is, it doesn't matter. It's so good, like I'm moving my body. And the 15 minute mile I just ran to, um, 
it's just gonna get better and it just feels really good to get back out there and I'm really trying to get out of this really bad mindset of like I can't do this I can't run I'm too fat for anything I have too much asthma I have skin problems I started breaking out just like I was kind of on the vineyard slightly not as worse um, but that whole sensation I have like that was like legit that was real that wasn't in my head like I have scars I had the marks I had all these <sighs> something was going on and um, but this time it was more of a tingle and I felt like it was kind of maybe the fabric too on my clothes as well and I just like powered through it and honestly it went away I was fine I did a cold shower and it was incredible and I'm also like we need to be more mindful of what I'm putting in my body because of the extreme breakouts I'm getting, um, my triggers, my allergic reactions, and so just all of that being mindful, we need to be in the moment and not just eating to eat. And, you know, I can sit here and talk about it and be lost in it all, but I am finally like realizing what it takes to be consistent and you know like trying all these different things to create a lifestyle that I want for myself so and I'm going to be trying this new like um other meal box stuff which I've been loving trying for different reasons we've just been doing that for fun um but this one is vegan clean and it's all my smoothies which is great because then I don't just spend the insane amount of money on a bunch of like full bulk produce which I would love to but because we move so often um, and so fast that it's like it it's no point in me buying you know the whole bulk of chia even when I buy the small chia and I'm you know and then I have like a bunch of fruit and that just is like a whole $500 purchase and I'm like don't want to do that so this was like a hundred some change so we'll see how it works out um, but yeah, I just really wanted to talk about this morning and it became a whole thing. So I don't know where, where this is at at this point, but I need to finish my hair and, um, yeah, get back to it. And I think we're going to just keep going for it. Just really good walks. I'm still doing yoga. I'm also getting back to like a different type of yoga because I really want to push my body and challenge myself and not like there's poses I really want to get into and there's different flexibility that I really want to reach so I need to like really just want to switch it up and keep working out and keep staying consistent so I can change myself and I was also able to see my nieces and nephews today and it was so fun I loved it we just got out of the hot tub I'm so sore still we just set up the sono so we got some music playing and we are going to try to be productive and be a reset day so let's go